Today's environment for jobs is a challenge for employers, and if you're in a situation where you're running into different kinds of problems, staffing issues, you've got a treat right now. On the screen with me right now, I have Tom Dimmock, who is joining us from his office via Skype here on video in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania at DK Search. Tom, thanks for being with us today. Good morning, Terry. It's good to see you again. How are you? Well, doing just fine and really appreciate you being here because I know you always give some good information for what to do on the job side and you see both sides. You're dealing with people all the time that are looking for good employers. They're looking for good people in today's environment. What kind of thing would you say to that employer who says, okay, we do need some people or we're getting ready to lay off. What do they need to do in light of uh, today's economic times? I think first and foremost, and you've probably heard me say something similar to this before, and that is have a plan. Don't let it happen by accident, but plan what you want to do and then execute the plan. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Well, what kind of plans make sense in light of today's environment? I think first and foremost, employers are faced with a real problem of how to quickly reduce their uh, financial burden as to employment. It's hard to, to reduce your overhead relative to taxes or to your, your rent or your utilities. One of the things you can do and do quickly is to reduce your payroll burden. Mm. Nevertheless, you are robbing from the future if you do that in the wrong way. Yeah, you're cutting muscle versus fat. That's correct. And it doesn't leave you room for growth. You can cut back, but remember you're operating at less of an income, less revenue generation than you were before. What are you going to need in order to get back to where you were and to move forward into the future? Yeah, that makes sense. So that plan for the future is there. What kind of opportunities do you see in today's market for employers and maybe some that you've worked with because you're working with a lot of employers regularly? What kind of uh, success stories do you see even in today's economy? I think one of the things that people do, and employers do, that is most successful in this is to look at their staff today. Who's going to retire? Are there, is there anyone that is currently not really performing to the levels that you would expect? Those kinds of things are easy to deal with and fairly easy to predict. If someone's going to retire shortly, you really need to have a plan in place to either consolidate that position, replace that position, or eliminate that position. But you can't let it just happen and then wonder what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. You must plan for that. So going back to that planning is really important. It certainly is. And I think that employers, when they go out into the marketplace, they are now faced with a real problem that there are many, many, many qualified, capable people all competing for that one opportunity. Mm -hmm. In order to make sure that they hire the right person, the best person, the person that fits their requirements, they first need to be able to clearly articulate what those requirements are going to be. That makes they sense. need to state what it is that that person is going to be expected to do and, more importantly, what kind of fit are we really talking about in their organization. Mm -hmm. Well, those are very good points and uh, important today more than ever. We've known that plan is uh, critical for whatever you're going to tr attempt. Today, putting that in place makes sense. Well, Tom, I know you have helped a number of employers that are looking for just the advice, not only the people, but the, how to do it. I think that's part of the benefits they have working with you. What's the best way for someone to reach you if they want to get some ideas and some advice on what to do in today's environment? Best way to reach me is to come to my website, that's www.dksearchinc.com, and they can find me there. They can find videos there of this interview and others that you and I have done, Terry. Uh, they can also find my email address. If they send me an email, there are three things that I would say to them, and I have a white paper prepared for them. Three things to do in this economic climate and your hiring decisions. Very good. So we get some good information that they can use in the real world. Thank you for making that available, and thanks for being with us. Always good to see you, Tom, and we appreciate the real useful information that you're providing. Thanks, Terry. I appreciate the opportunity. Hey, well, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye now.